What's up, this is GPE 70 Fan Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, yeah, here it is, Christmas Eve, and, um, yeah, uh, just wanted to wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I did have a, uh, a Christmas theme, uh, Christmas themed mod for you, lined up for you today, but I had some trouble with it, um, it, you know, uh, it's really weird. I don't understand fully why I had trouble with it. it may have conflicted with um, with um, uh, with the uh, immersive cities project uh, for White Run, which is right there. Um, it was the uh, qu the uh, Christmas in White Run mod. Uh, so I'll put a link to it in the description, even though I didn't review it. Uh, it looks like a pretty sweet mod. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think it may have conflicted with, um, op with, uh, not Open City Skyrim, but in Immersive City Skyrim. Um, so yeah, basically what that did was it had a, um, a Christmas sort of atmosphere to Whiterun, and it gave you <laughs> what, uh, was probably going to be a really kick-ass, uh, um, uh, um, peppermint uh, shield and a uh, and a candy cane sword, so man that that was gonna be pretty cool. But ah, uh, you know, I really wish I could have gotten to it. But why is uh, hmm, it looks like there's snow on this. Kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I also had a couple of other problems where I couldn't get outside of interiors or cities. Uh, I couldn't get to the overworld. And, um, that, I guess I should explain why. I know why that is. It's because I finally freaking got Dawn Guard. I mean, seriously, it seems like it's been years since Dongar's come out, and I just now got it because I just now had the money to get it. Literally, Christmas Eve. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a pretty dope. Um, it's gonna be a pretty dope um, uh, Christmas gift. I have a sneaking suspicion. But yeah, so in case you're wondering. Yes, we are going to review Dawn Guard, and yes, uh, it does this uh, this does tie into Quest for the Crown. Um, now, why are we reviewing Dawn Guard? Because you know this is sort of Skyrim mod reviews, not Skyrim DLC reviews. Um, well, you know the way it's implemented. Um, Stone Guard is technically an add-on. You know, you buy it and it gives you a master file. Uh, so it's the way uh, that's why that's why all sort of big mods work. Um, so yeah, here we are, and we are about to uh, hunt down a guard. And why are you just standing there? But yeah, we're gonna hunt down a guard and get Dawn Guard underway now. I have lost my quest for the crown save. Uh, <laughs> I know. I how can I be so irresponsible? Stupid GP. But I, um, so how much money did we have? Uh, the last the end of the last quest for the crown episode. Um, I think we had. Well, um, I got I got a um. Another Quest for the Crown video coming after this one. Um, it's the second part of the Camdoon mod. Uh, so I had 11, about 11 and a half grand. Um, yeah, I had about 11 and a half grand at the end of that episode. Um, you know, the one that I've released so far. So, and I said at the end that I would add another like four grand. Uh, to to my bank account to, you know, because of all the sp time I spent away in Camdoon and all the various technical issues that I encountered. So yeah, let me go 
uh, add that now. Well, actually, how much do I have now? 11044. So, um, player to add item 45 F4500. Zero, zero. And there we go. Um, now we've got all the cash that we should have had. Uh, 15,544 gold. Well on our way to becoming, uh, kings of Riverhelm. Uh, we've still got quite a few episodes to go, though. So where's Riverhelm? Oh, yeah, over there. No, that's the Western Watchtower. Does it matter, really? <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go hunt down a guard. Right here? No. Um, what's the Dawn Guard? Um, okay. I don't like, uh, vampires because they typically are a major, major, major inconvenience. Uh, when you, you know, when you just walk up on one. I was one once, it was a pleasant experience. And a previous character, you know, before, uh, Skyrim mod, so. Yeah. Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. Of course I'm Dawnguard material. So material. Material. <laughs> Started Dawnguard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool that this stone has a snowy texture. I'm not sure if that's intentional. I hope it is. But, yeah, it kind of fits in with the, um, uh, whole, uh, Christmas sort of theme. Uh, it may be an Easter egg, come to think of it, on Bessoff, uh, Bessoff's part. Uh, you know, that, you know, where things have become snowed over, like, right before Christmas. So, I don't know, it would be worth looking into that. Um... So, yeah, let's fast travel to Riften. Holy crap, that is miles away from Riften. For Dawn Guard. Speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard. Um, yeah. I have a feeling that we're just going to have to go through Riften anyway, so, uh, I, can't, I think we could save some time by circumnavigating it. Man, I'm finally playing Dawn Guard. This is awesome. I'm finally going to get to use a crossbow. Man, there's so many mods out there that use uh, Dawn Guard. Uh, Dawn Guard assets. It's ridiculous. So yeah, it's going to be cool to sort of look into those. Okay, here we go. Uh, right side of honey side. Oh, I thought that was a teleport outside of Riften. My bad. Yeah, it doesn't look like the wall is. Sh is that was that there? What? This boat. Uh, yeah, maybe I never noticed that before. So. Okay, apparently it wants us to go through honey side. Why does it want us to go through Honeyside? Can we just... Go here? My guess is no. Uh, yeah, I was going to TC all through that, but... It doesn't seem like... That would be... Well, what was intended. <laughs> um, so, let's go out of Riften and try to go around it. Alchemy lamps can be used to combine ingredients into useful uh, potions and deadly poisons. Already knew this. 
Yeah, so I guess we just go straight to the crow flies and just sort of southeast of Rifton like the guy said. Wow. Oh, this is a major convenience. Freaking dragon? Ah. Man, I wish I'd... You know what? Do I have arrows of instant kill? No, I've got freaking Daedric arrows. I need to get the arrows of instant kill equipped and quickly. Um, we're just going to deal with you, buddy, real quick. There we go. Friggin' boss shot. Look at that. Thou shalt not be an inconvenience to just random people anymore. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Where did that come from and what was it? A necker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, Sky Mod. How can I be so foolish? But I could have sworn it made the sound of a dragon biting me as it attacked me, which is odd. Anyway, so yeah, we were going to Dawn Guard. Is there a person over here? Hello? Nope, but there's a red wolf. Oh, come on! Am I stuck in... Oh, good. Thought I was going to have to toggle the uh, free fly camera there. Yeah. Red Wolf, you're dead. Give me that arrow. <sighs> oh, I thought we froze there for a second. What in the world? What is all this crap? Seriously, there's millions of things in here. And that was a saber cat? No, that was a... What was that? And why is it running through the mountain? Okay. Uh, that was a giant boar. Take the arrow back. And a saber cat, arrow of instant killing. Eight gold. Nice. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I've been this far southeast of Skyrim ever before. Was this here? No. Well, yes. I... I don't know. I'm not sure. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes is the answer to the question. <sighs> okay, well that was an intense fight. Two bandits, two shots, two deaths. Uh, give me that loot. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. Oh. Okay, give me that loot. Give me that loot. 78 golden five lock picks. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. And, uh, this bandit here. Eight gold. King. Yes, I am. I'll take that. Thank you. And just spear, which we don't want. Because we're on our way to a freaking crossbow. Uh, okay, so what is this? Is this, uh... I have no clue where where we are. Is this... Who are you? A random Kaji? A fort? A cave? Okay, I've never... You know, this may... This must have been added by Dawn Guard. It must have. Yes, in fact, I don't recognize any of this at all. And I've seen all of... What the frick? <laughs> Did you see that freaking front flip? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the ragdoll physics in this game, man. I would get a realistic ragdoll on it, not been for moments like that. And the, you remember the, uh, was it the Thalmer wizard, back in the Sea of Ghosts mod, like the second part, I believe. Um, 
this flying, like, friggin' space program, some shit like that, like he friggin', like he, uh, if you're, uh, you're, uh, my subscribers will remember that, the, the guy just went flying miles into the air, it was hilarious, uh, uh, that wasn't as funny, but is is still pretty hilarious. Okay, so this is definitely ad by Dawnguard. Seriously, wow. Bethesda, you have outdone yourselves with this landscaping. Look at this, dude. Just 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 drink it all in, okay? I'm gonna sit here for like. 10 seconds, or no, you pause the video and just drink this view in right here. Just drink it in. This waterfall, these trees. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as gorgeous in Skyrim ever. Okay, well, I take that back. The, um, the Thrill of the World, absolutely gorgeous view. Seriously. But this is just, this is seriously cool here. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's officially 16 minutes into this video, so I'm going to call it a part here. Um, well, I would say link to Dawn Guard would be in the description below. Uh, but it's on the Steam Workshop. So yeah, if you have about 10 bucks at the moment to spare right now, then... Definitely, definitely go get it on the Steam Workshop. You cannot go wrong with Dawn Guard. Um, now, we'll uh, probably pass New Year's Eve. It will, or actually, no. Um, it, it, it will be four hours or less from this exact moment that I'm recording this, so... It'll be $20 probably by the time you're able to go get it, but, um, anyway, so, yeah, uh, if you really like, well, Skyrim and you want to enhance your Skyrim experience, then go and get Dawnguard, uh, but it will cost you, um, and like I said, there are a lot of mods out there that use Dawnguard's resources, like Ethernautics, uh, which I've got, but, Okay, uh, um, that was the, uh, vanity camera there, but anyway, so yeah, uh, go and get Dawn Guard, like I said, if you like Skyrim, and if you want access to all the awesome mods that use its resources, like Ethernautics, and a scat of other mods out there, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next part, GP75 out.